Welcome back, gang. So now that our layouts are already in place, I want to start dealing with this dashboard page. We're not going to do too much. There's just a few things in here that I want to fix. So the first thing I want to do is change the URL from dashboard to user dashboard. How you would do that is um, if you go to app uh, HTTP middleware, and then you go to the redirect if authenticated. This middleware is essentially saying that if a user is logged in, they're going to be redirected to whatever is in this route service provider class um, in the home in the home field. Um, so if we go to that, you can see that that home field is set to dashboard. What we want to do is now change this from dashboard to user dashboard. Okay. Uh, the next thing we want to do is head over to our routes file and take a look and see what we have in here that's directing it. So as you can see, it's already rendering uh, the page, but we don't want that. What we want to do is extract the dashboard into its own controller because we're going to be adding more fields. Um, we're going to be adding more things to it to be displayed on the front end and we don't want all of that functionality in here. We want to separate it into its own, you know, give it its own home. So what the best way to do that would be to put it in a controller. So we're going to go to PHP Artisan uh, Make Controller. In a few episodes back, we created this user folder in our controllers folder. Um, so we're going to add a new, we're going to add this new controller into it. So it's user dashboard controller. And then we'll just go ahead and make it resourceful. We're not going to be using all the functions in there, but it's just good to have. I, I prefer it. Um, and then we can just take out what we don't need later on. Okay, so we're going to take, um, we're going to take this and we're going to cut it out of here. And in our new controller, controllers, user, dashboard controller, we're going to go ahead and add it in here. Okay. Um, paste. Uh, what we do need to do as well is um, import this inertia. Okay, and that'll go up there. So all this is doing is really just asking inertia to render the dashboard view. We've already seen the dashboard view early on a few episodes back. We saw it, um, but I'll show you really quick. If you go down to resources, JS, pages, um, you'll see it down here, dashboard. Okay. Um, okay. So let's head back over to the root and work on this. We don't need any of this. Okay. What we need to do is to now add prefix. And if you remember, we just added user to um, our new route. And this section of routes that we're going to be working on is going to be the home for all the rest of our routes. So all of the rest of our routes are going to have the prefix of user in it. Okay, so prefix. And then it's going to be group function. curly braces and again this is going to house all the rest of our routes so the first route that we have and one of the only routes that we have it's going to be get dashboard comma and now we need to add that dashboard controller dashboard controller class and the function it's going to be index and then at the end of this, we're going to add a name. And this name for this route is going to be dashboard.index. And don't forget the semicolon at the end. Uh, so let's go up here and make sure that it's been imported. And it has. Um, we don't need this anymore. Okay. Now, the only place that I can think of off the top of my head that has this route uh, that we need to change. It's in the layouts, J 
JS resources, JS layouts, app layout. Um, I know it's here for sure. We just have to find it. So dashboard. Okay, and in here, we can now change this to dashboard.index. Um, find the next one. And add it to these. Dashboard, dashboard, dashboard that index and I think that should be it so let's refresh the page and see if that worked ah because we have not gone to that route just yet so user slash dashboard fingers crossed no error and it looks like we're good okay now um, if you hover over these links these are our dashboard links so if you hover over them You'll see at the bottom here, okay, when you hover and you look at the bottom left, you'll see that it, the new route is user dashboard. So that works. That works. Fantastic. Okay. The next thing I want to do is, um, since we're already here, we might as well just go ahead and take care of it. Uh, let me scroll down really quick. Okay. So the sidebar, main. Okay. Down here, we want to add some classes to the main um, the main class or the main tags that we have here. So we'll go ahead and start that. Uh, it's going to be a BG gray of 200 uh, shadow rounded. It's going to have a margin Y of 5, PY of 6, PX 4, width of full, and on small screens we want a width of 2 thirds, uh, um, margin X of 2. and margin oh, margin y of 2 sorry this one is going to be margin y of 3 on medium screens we are going to want um, a margin x of 4 px of 10 and on large screens, we're going to do an MX of auto. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and refresh and just make sure that we didn't break anything. Okay, looks like we didn't break anything, but as you can see, it now um, has this background of gray, uh, which is what we wanted. Okay, um, so let's see what's next. Now we can head over to our dashboard dot, dot view and start messing around in there. Okay, now um, this welcome uh, component here, it's not the welcome component that we, um, that we made for our landing page, this one. Uh, it's not this one. This welcome component that is being pulled into uh, the dashboard page, it's actually coming from, um, let's scroll up. This welcome component is actually coming from our jet stream. Scroll down. It's actually this component. Um, we don't want this component. Uh, that's this page right here. That's all this stuff in here. We don't want that. So we can go ahead and just get rid of it now. Um, because that's the only place that it's being used. And since we're not going to be using it, um, it doesn't matter. We can just go ahead and take it out. Okay. So now we'll go back to our dashboard page. Uh, let me close this up. So now we can head over to our dashboard.view. 
and we can go ahead and start taking out the welcome stuff. So we're not going to be needing this entire div. Okay. And we can just snatch out the import. Okay. Um, we are going to change this now to our brand new layout, pages layout. And this will be, uh, we'll change it here, here, and here. Pages layout. Okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing we're going to do is change this to title. Because if you go back an episode, you'll see that we are we created slots in the app lot, not the app, not the app layout, the pages layout. We created slots here, so this title is where this will be coming from. Uh, this title will be coming from. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and add now a div with the class of flex class of justify between class of items center and a class of width full okay open that up and now this we can move into that div okay um this h2 um we can add flex items end we'll keep the font semi bold we'll keep the text extra large text gray and we'll add oh it's already there let, letting tight um in here we can go ahead and add an image file and this image we are going to use the profile user image so it'll be page, props, user, profile, photo URL, and we'll copy this, copy, paste, and um, we'll just add a user name here and don't forget to add the colon here so now let's take a look and see i know i need to add some classes to that but let's just make sure nothing's broken refresh okay great so we have our picture dashboard so let's go ahead and style that image uh put it right here so it'll be class of height eight width 8, rounded, full, object, cover. Okay, um, in this dashboard I actually want to put it in a span class of capitalize and also margin left of 3. Hopefully, yeah, that worked. Great. So now we can add this text up into that span tag. Well, we can move this on the same line. Okay. Let's take a look, make sure it looks good. Refresh. Okay, great. So now that that's done, let's take a look at our the only other actual page that we have other than the welcome page, it's the user edit page, the profile edit page, and now you can see we also have the sidebar on that. Okay, so I think I'm going to finish up for now um and I'll see you guys in the next episode, lots more to come. Thanks for watching. See you guys then.